Hello people, this is Paul from Colors Change Works. Guys, hope that you are well. Before we get into today's little short story, I'm going to ask you just to do all the YouTube admin, please. The old thumbs up, please, the liking, that's really important. Please uh, share if you don't mind. Subscribe. Tell all your friends and your family to subscribe also and get them to share also. Let's get this community of Colors Change Works growing, please. When you hit the bell, pick the all section that comes alongside it, please. That's really important. That way you also get the, the, the daily videos that we upload. And of course, comment. That's also interesting to hear your story and to reply back to you. Let's get into today's little story. It's a nice little one today. And it is simply referred to as the troubled tree. The carpenter I hired to help me restore an old farmhouse had just finished a rough day on the job. A flat tire made him lose an hour of work. His electric shock quit. And now his ancient pickup truck refused to start. While I drive him home, he sat in stony silence. On arriving, he invited me in to meet his family. As we walked towards the front door, he paused briefly at a small tree, touching the tips of the branches with both hands. When opening the door, he underwent an amazing transformation. His tanned face was wreathed in smiles and he hugged his two small children and gave his wife a kiss. Afterwards, he walked me to the car. We passed the tree and my curiosity got the better of me. I asked him about what I had seen him do earlier. Oh, that's my troubled tree, he replied. I know I can't help having troubles on the job, but one thing's for sure, troubles don't belong in the house with my wife and my children. So I just hang them on the tree every night when I come home. Then in the morning, I pick them back up again. He paused. Funny thing is, he smiled, when I come out in the morning to pick them up, there ain't nearly as many as I remember hanging up the night before. A nice little story there. Statistically, it is said that 80% of the things that we worry about don't materialize. That means only 20% of what we worry about actually do kind of come to life, so to speak. It suggests then that four-fifths of your day of worrying and being concerned and stressed out, these kind of things are things that are totally a waste of time. I want for you just to imagine for a, a second or so the wear and tear on your nervous system just considering the things that you are worrying about. Bearing in mind, 80% of that will never come into being. It's a stark reality. I wonder what would happen if you were to change your attitude towards worry and instead be kind. I wonder what the wear and tear on your system will be once you do that. You see, the story talks of a number of truths and I shall go through them as I see them. The first thing is, we will have trouble in the world. People bring you trouble. Situations and circumstances that come your way will trouble you. These things provoke a reaction in your body that produces worry and anxiety and stress and concern. All these things. We can't escape it. I don't want to go into too much biology, but the basics of it is, is we get the stimulus that says, Ugh, Panic! And we get an influx of adrenaline that produces cortisol in our brain. And it sits right over here, your prefrontal cortex. That's why you see I'm 
losing my hair because back in the day I couldn't fathom out how to deal with some of the problems that I faced when I consider my uh, knock, soon to be ex knock in my life. The amount of stress that she brought was absolutely tremendous. But the, the truth of the matter is we can't escape the reaction our body produces when we get this threatening stimulus. We can't escape the fact that we have to deal with trouble and problems. They're just there. The world is full of them. That's number one. Number two, there is a solution. For this carpenter, it was that tree. Everybody has a solution to a problem and for this man, he decided he's going to accumulate all the problems throughout the day and as if they had little hooks as he walked past this tree before he got home, he was going to hang the troubles on his trouble tree. You could just imagine the relief that he would feel as if he were to undress himself with all this trouble and hang it on the tree so that the tree carries the burden over the troubles, the worry, the stress. That is the solution. There is a solution to the problems. We just need to find our own trouble tree. The other truth of this matter is, and so many few people understand this, I wish I had known this many years ago, but then life would have been so much different, but hey, you learn as you go along. That when you bring trouble into your house, it doesn't produce love, that's for sure. It doesn't calm matters down. Mm -mm. So what this guy knew is, he knew he didn't want to have trouble in the house. Because he knew that his children and his wife did not deserve the troubles that he had to endure that day. And for many people, that is a good thing. And I, I would suggest it's a, it's a grand thing if we can operate like that. And sadly, so many of us, we don't necessarily understand this. But his love for his family said that he was going to do something to help them. Not necessarily to, for him to be false and fake. No. But to be real. Practical. And so whilst he hangs his, his troubles on the tree, that's great. He can now go effectively troubled free to his family. That's another truth. Love is what's important in families. So few families have that love nowadays. The final truth I would like to point out to you is when he suggests to the boss that when he gets up in the morning and he sees and he goes past the trouble tree and he sees it and when he goes to pick them up, a lot of them have disappeared. That is the truth. And my friend, the truth of the matter there is that when we are asleep, our unconscious mind sifts through all the stuff that we've worked through through the day. And whilst we're asleep, it reorganizes the mind. It does a reboot, so to speak. And while we're asleep, it problem solves, puts things in perspective. Some of the stuff that we needn't worry about disappears. Because you see, your unconscious mind has got your best interest at heart. So the truth of the matter is, yes, we will have problems. Yes, there is a solution. Yes, we need to focus on the people who we love the most, our family. And yes, if when we only realize that the bulk of the problems that we hang on our solution will not be there in the morning, because as the saying goes, we need to sleep on it. Our life will become so much easier. The wear and tear on our system is ground down by the constant threat of, man, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. This is, these problems are so huge. But when we apply the attitude of the carpenter, 
we would feel a lot lighter in ourselves. We would feel more refreshed. We would actually feel energized. We would be able to cope through the problems that life throws us with greater ease. This carpenter was a very wise man. So what I'm going to ask you to do, my friend, is simply this. Find yourself a troubled tree. And it doesn't have to be a physical tree. It could be anything. But have, find a place where you can take your problems and you can hang them up. And let love be the driving motivator there. Because of love for other people. Because of love for your family. Man, let it even be for the love for yourself, which is crucially important hang it up do yourself a favor be kind and love yourself save yourself a lot of wear and tear 80 percent of the things that you worry about don't materialize that's all i want to say to you today it's an encouraging word there's always a solution to the troubles that we have. We just need to go and find them. My friend, I hope this little video has served you well. And if it has, please let us know in the comments below. And if you have friends and family who might benefit from this, please tell them about this video. Please tell them about this channel. There's many more to come, that's for sure. Let's reach a wider community. That's all I want to ask you to do as part of the YouTube Batman. For now, let's see Mark from Carl and I'll speak to you soon.